Jesus said, Man cannot live on bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You're listening to Daily Truth. John Gill, the late great Reformed Baptist, he preached in the very same church that Charles Spurgeon preached in uh, and was pastor of a hundred years later. So John Gill, preceding Spurgeon by a hundred years, he wrote this. The whole scripture is a light shining in a dark place, a lamp or torch to be carried in the hand of the believer while he passes through this dark world and is in the present state of imperfection in which he sees things but dimly, darkly. He has vision, but there's room for improvement. By means of it, he may see and shun the stumbling blocks in his way and escape falling into pits and ditches. It is a good light to walk and work by. Now, It should be observed that the word of God is only so to a man whose eyes are opened and enlightened by the Spirit of God. For a lamp, torch, candle, or any other light are of no use to a blind man. So you might say it like this. What we're finding in our text today and what we see further on in this same chapter, 119 verses 97 through 105, which I'll conclude with, What we're seeing, the concept is this, and it's a repetitive theme throughout this chapter, and I believe all of Scripture. The Spirit of God is the one who gives us sight. The Word of God is the lamp, and the Son of God is the path. See, the Word of God, His commandments, His law, it's the light. It's the lamp, a lamp unto my feet. David delights in the law of God. Thy law, thy word is a lamp unto my feet. But what John Gill is rightly taking note of in his commentary is this. A lamp doesn't do any good if a person is blind. Light, any source of light, a lamp, candle, a flashlight, whatever it may be, a light is only useful to those who can see. So we must have the Spirit of God to give us eyes regeneration by the power of the Holy Spirit caused to be born again, given spiritual eyes, spiritual ears, new hearts. So it's the Spirit of God by His power that the person is regenerated, caused to become a new creature with new eyes, given initial sight. That's the Spirit of God. But but having eyes does no good in the dark. So we need the Word of God a lamp, a light, but then we still need to know what direction, what path. I am the way and the truth and the life. Jesus is the path. The Spirit gives us eyes. The Word is our lamp, the light, and Jesus is the path. That seems to be, in John Gill's assessment and my own, The concept or the principle of our text today. We need the Spirit to give us eyes. He does this first and foremost, initially in conversion, salvation. And He continues to give us greater and greater improved sight through sanctification. And we need the Word of God to be our light. We can't just have eyes but fumble around in the dark. We need a light, a lamp unto our feet. That is the Word of God, God's precepts, His law, and His gospel. And we need the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who is not only the truth and the life, but is the way. He is the path to the Father and where we find our hope and rest. I've got some exciting news to announce. I've got A.D. Robles and John Harris from Conversations That Matter coming out for a whole weekend in the month of March to join up on a Friday. We're going to come in our studio right here, and all three of us are going to record a multiple-part series on some of the subject matter that you guys have requested that the three of us address through our YouTube comments. Some of you have emailed. We're taking that into consideration as well, uh, but we're definitely looking at the YouTube comments. We've asked you guys, hey, what are topics you want us to address. And so the three of us are going to record for several hours a multiple part series in our studio right here in the great state of Texas in March. And we're going to be releasing that content over the coming weeks. Now, here's the other thing. 
That's on the Friday that they're going to be in town. But on the Saturday, we're going to hold a one-day conference. Now, that's going to be March 12th, Saturday, March 12th. It's going to be a one-day conference where AD is going to do a session on um, practical, obedient defiance, how to resist civil tyranny, how to resist medical tyranny, and how to do this in practical, on-the-ground ways as households. As head of households, husbands, fathers, how how do we resist as a family against the cancel culture and the tyranny and persecution that's coming to America? That's going to be a D session. I'm going to do a session called Debunking the Boogeyman of Christian Nationalism. I'm going to kind of reveal the fallacies of the Gospel Coalition and all these kind of things. Oh, Christian nationalists, the greatest threat to America. I'm going to show why that's not biblical and how that's not actually happening. And the irony that, if anything, Russell more, he's the type who's actually the Christian nationalist in a negative sense. And then John Harris is going to do a session on social justice versus biblical justice. Again, that's social justice and how it's completely um, opposed, completely opposite to biblical justice. And then lastly, the three of us are going to come up all together and spend a whole hour doing Q&A. We're going to take live questions from the audience and address those questions. It's going to be a great time. You'll get to meet John Harris. You'll get to meet A.D. Robles. You'll get to meet myself. So if you're anywhere in the area, in Williamson County, or if you're in Austin, Texas, or you're north of Williamson County, or to the west, or to the east, and you want to come out and join us for that one-day conference, Saturday, March 12th, Come on out. It's free registration. Uh, We're going to have some refreshments free. Everything's free. So we're paying out of pocket as a ministry to make this happen. We're covering the cost to fly out John and AD to put them up in a hotel. So you don't have to pay a dime to show up and attend this. However, for anybody who wants to be generous and help us offset these costs, you can do so donating towards this conference by simply going to rightresponseministries.com slash donate. Again, that's rightresponseministries.com slash donate. Now to find the address, physical location for the conference and exact times for each of the sessions for that Saturday, March 12th, again, go to our website, rightresponseministries.com, click on the menu button at the top and scroll down and you'll find conference. Click on conference, you'll find all the details that you need. And one of the details there that we need is although registration is free, there's a form at the bottom that says RSVP. We would really appreciate if you could let us know whether or not you're coming and how many people you plan on bringing with you, right? If you've got 10 kids, God bless you for having 10 kids, but we would like to know that you're bringing yourself, your wife, and your 10 kids. Please come, but please let us know so that we can adequately uh, prepare for this. The last thing that I'll say is that that Sunday, which would be March 13th, for anybody who wants to join our church, Covenant Bible Church, John Harris will stay in town. He's going to linger, and he's going to preach that Sunday morning at our Lord's Day worship service. That's 9.30 a.m. on Sunday, March 13th at my church that I pastor. Again, that's Covenant Bible Church. We're in Georgetown, Texas. That's the Williamson County area. So if you're in Williamson County or you're in North Austin or you're somewhere nearby and you don't have a church home, If you've got a church home, go there. But if you don't have a church home, you're looking for a church that has courage, that has biblical fidelity, and you want to hear John Harris preach uh, a dynamite sermon from the Word of God, then come and join us again Sunday, March 13th. You can find uh, details or directions to join our church that Sunday morning at covenantbible.org. 